guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the brand Colores de Carol. So today I have their Glow On collection, which is a collection of five bright, bold neons with the juxtaposition of blackish gray gunmetal glitter. These are available right now, so in the description box below I will link the Colores de Carol site as well as their Instagram page, and I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of this collection. I also have a coupon code for 10% off. It's not an affiliate code, um, it's just 10% off for you for your entire order. So yes, five bright bold neons and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Strike a Pose and this is described as a neon watermelon pink with hollow dust and metallic gunmetal glitter in two different sizes. So here's our first coat of Strike a Pose. This goes on really, really nicely. It is very opaque here on this first coat, but it's not completely opaque, so I am going to go in for a second coat. You do get a ton of glitter out, um, but the fact that this is so neon, my camera kind of hides the glitter, but there's a ton of it. So this is completely opaque in two coats. Again, an amazing formula. It's going to dry a little textured, so you will want a nice glossy top coat, and it's only going to be a little bit difficult to remove because it is glitter. So there's two coats. Up next we have Neon Party and this is described as a neon orangey red with hollow dust and metallic gunmetal glitter in two different sizes. Here's our first coat of Neon Party. This one has the same formula. It goes on very nice, very smooth, evenly, pretty opaque here on the first coat. Not completely though, so I am going to show you a second coat. Again, you do get a ton of glitter out without having to do anything special. You don't have to hold the bottle upside down, extra shakes, anything like that. So here's our second coat. It is completely opaque in two coats. Again, my camera is hiding those glitters because it's so neon, but you'll see those in the photo and it will dry a little bit textured and be the slightest bit difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Up next we have a laser tag and this is a neon green with hollow dust and metallic gunmetal glitter in two different sizes. Here's our first coat of laser tag. This one also covers really well here on this first coat. These all pretty much have the same formula, same coverage, same everything, so this is a little bit repetitive. I am going to go ahead and add a second coat, but again an amazing, easy to work with formula. So here's our second coat, and this one does cover completely in two coats. Again, it dries down a little bit dull and a little bit textured, so you will want a nice glossy top coat, but this isn't one that you would need like two top coats, two coats of top coat for because the glitters don't like bundle up together. So there is two coats. Up next we have Blackout, and this is described as a neon blue with hollow dust and metallic gunmetal glitter in two different sizes. So here's our first coat of Blackout. This one also covers really well here in this first coat. It's not completely opaque, so I am going to add a second coat. This one is definitely the most least <laughs> neon of the bunch, but it is really hard to get a neon blue without it turning like a light blue. This is completely opaque in two coats. The gunmetal glitters in here also don't stand out as well as they do for the rest of them, but they are there. Again, it'll dry a little dull and a little textured, so a nice glossy top coat, and there's two coats. And finally we have Let's Glow, and this is a neon magenta pink with hollow dust and metallic gunmetal glitter of two different sizes. And I did want to go ahead and show it next to Strike a Pose, where you can see Strike a Pose is more of a corally pink, and this one is more of a bulgum pink. So here's our first coat of Let's Glow. And like the other neons, this goes on really nicely, really evenly, very easy to use, very very beginner friendly formula on this one, which is crazy for a neon and a crelly. Here's our second coat, and this does cover completely in two coats for me. Those glitters stand out really, really nicely. It's going to dry a little dull and a little textured, so a nice glossy top coat, and only slightly difficult to remove, so there's two coats. These were all amazing, um, but of course I had a couple standouts, the first one being laser tag so good so beautiful i didn't want to take this off um, i had to because i had to finish swatching the collection but as soon as i'm done swatching a few other things this is going right back on i love a neon green and the gunmetal glitter in here is just phenomenal and then the other one being neon party i don't know what it is but neon oranges are like my jam 
Um, so these two were my favorite from the collection. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this collection. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.